a while back I was writing a novel and a southern novel based on a fictional town in Virginia around where I'm from and uh, during that process I woke up out of a sound sleep with the first two lines of the, of the chorus which were he gave her roses and she made a crown of thorns she went down to the river to hear that preacher speaking it's a very hard song to talk said, about let this water wash you clean faith will ease your pain well the song deals with religion and insanity those great extremes become very close to one another sometimes with me, and it's a theme that I, I find recurring in a lot of my stuff. Mistook her savior for that lonely preacher man. When my family comes from a religious background, they helped found the Sanctified Church in Virginia, and uh, they still maintain it. And they're wonderful, happy, balanced people who came from a church that was originally very dark, and black clothes, and no jewelry, no music but they were all from that to be very happy and lots of music. That preacher's crazy wife. It's very dark in its content, but for me it's it's very revealing, you know, and it's allowing myself to think of things in those terms and allowing these characters, one being a very lonely preacher and uh, one being uh, a woman who's obviously schizophrenic. He gave her roses they're coming together, and his trying to save her. She made a crown of thorns. And in a way, her trying to save him. It's a love story of sorts. He gave her roses, a trail of roses, leading down to the river. Pouring rain. It's always the same process for me. There's a melody, and I have to get very quiet and patient with that melody because I know that that's just the key that opens the door of that melody, and I wait and wait, and sometimes I wait a very long time. And, uh, and when it finally comes to me, it's, it's completely formed. Uh, it doesn't feel like I'm building it. It feels like I'm being dictated to it. Seeking his forgiveness. What usually happens, I get a musical, just a phrase or a musical passage in this song. It was just like a... Which is a, a little swampy, a little delta maybe. It also comes in complete form as far as, as the arrangement of the music and the instrumentation of the music which is a, a terrific thing, but it can be very frustrating when you're working with other musicians. Uh, you have to be very patient and trusting, which I can with the, with the fellows I play with now, that they'll take it to some place, sometimes even better than what I heard in them. Sometimes it's very frustrating because I hear everything in my head. I know the drum part, I know the bass part, and yet not being a bass player or a drummer, it's very frustrated I'm not really articulate enough to tell these people what I need to hear. With this particular song, I knew I didn't want to record it myself. And Mike Derry, who sings lead in the band, has the voice that I heard when, I, when the song came to me. He has that kind of voice. She made a crown of thorns. Any success for a song like this, it's difficult to say because it's not going to get cut in Nashville and a lot of the people that might want to record something of this type are usually the best songwriters in the business already. The only thing I can do with it at this point is record it myself and surround myself with great singers and musicians who can try to bring them to life. I don't have any aspirations of record deals or anything like that. There's another slant to it, which is my 18-year-old son is becoming a performing musician. He loves the material, and he's working the material all the time. I kind of equate it to a carpenter who's 
son wants to come into the business when he could have become a, a stockbroker. He could be doing rap and he wants to do this music and he does it really well and he's got a heart for it. So the legacy is there. I feel like I'm handing this stuff to him and that makes it all worthwhile. If, if I didn't have that, I think I'd be pretty frustrated and worried that if something happened to me, it would just all, my life's work, work would go away. But that's not the case anymore. So it's, I'm at peace with it, you know.